And right now at four, this Christmas season is especially memorable for one New Haven man and refugee from Africa. He says he's looking forward to returning home to help those less fortunate than him. Fox 61's Tony Terzi joins us live from Madison today to share his amazing story. Tony. Aisha, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you at home as well. The man about which we speak, about whom we speak, works here at the Madison Beach Hotel, a lovely resort hotel. And he is a perfect example of paying it forward during this, the season of giving. This Christmas is one Joshua Ruzibuka has been waiting nearly seven years for. This is special Christmas really because now I'm a citizen. The native of war-torn Congo in East Africa lives with his wife and two children in New Haven and commutes to his job at the Madison Beach Hotel, where he's absolutely blown away by being able to prepare wonderful meals every day. Here's a guy that used to beg for food and dig out of garbage cans, and now he's working in this kitchen where he's surrounded by an abundance of food. Joshua's parents and three sisters were murdered when he was five years old in Congo. When I woke up in the morning and then I saw all that happened, I started to run away and follow people. Joshua lived on his own and in refugee camps for at least 15 years until his application to come to the U.S. was granted. Through of all, all my life and uh, what I saw and what I was passing through, I keep my dream when I'm going to get a better life, I need to help people. He assists refugees in getting settled here in Connecticut, including finding clothing and work. But this spring, he's going back to Africa for the first time since he left. He's trying to raise $6,000 so that he can go fund the school that he started at the refugee camp uh, where there was no school. A GoFundMe page has been created to help Joshua raise the money, which will also be used to help pay hospital bills of people in Congo. And he's so thankful to those who've already contributed. So amazing. He fell into our laps and we're so fortunate. Really a feel good story, boy. Merry Christmas to him and for all the great work that he does. Now, of course, we'll have a link for you on fox61.com and also on the Fox 61 News app to the GoFundMe page. Joshua says when he returns from his native Africa in the spring back to Connecticut, he says one of the things he'll look forward to the most is the opportunity to vote which is something he has never been able to do before. We're live in Madison, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.